G'day, welcome to version 1.12.6 of TC's Auto Rewards. This is intended to be a guide to the uh, API, which I added recently. Um, before we get started, the API is not required to run the mod. I can't, I can't stress that enough. The, the mod will run exactly the same way it always has without it. I created the API as a bonus feature for people who are supporting the development of the mod. Um, if you want to use the API and help support the mod, you can head over to Patreon and you'll find three tiers of uh, rewards, which will give you access to the API. Um, alternatively, if you if you don't like the idea about signing up for a monthly subscription, just contact me on Discord and we can organize a one-time uh, donation where you gain access to all the features of the API forever, basically. Okay, now what does the API do? Currently, the API allows you to link servers together so they use the same data. So they'll have uh, the same player profiles on them. If a player um, logs out of one server, logs into another server, their points are linked together. So if they spend points on one server, it gets spent on the other server as well. Same with playtime and everything. So it just links all the servers together. They don't need to be in a cluster either um, because it's uh, it's all web-based. So it's um, it, it can be any server at all. Um, you can link any number of them together. You can link either just the player profiles, just the packs, or you can link both of them. Um, and then you can have separate link keys to separate those groups as well. Uh, later on, there will be more features like being able to add and edit um, packs and players uh, via a web app, um, a UI. And then uh, that way you can basically create uh, packs anywhere you have access to the internet. You won't need to log in to do any of that. And there's going to be a lot more features as well, like Discord integration and uh, extensive logging. Uh, really, yeah. There's, there's a lot more stuff I can do with this than what will allow me in the kit. So that's, that's going to be really fun. All right, so let's get to the settings. Um, there's going to be three new INI settings that you'll need. So you go to your game user settings.ini file where you list all your other settings. There's three new ones, API key, player link key, and pack link key. And you'll gain access to these via the uh, via the website. Actually, I'll I'll probably show that. Um, so basically, after you um, after you sign up with Patreon, or if you talk to me on Discord, um, you'll sign into the website. I'll put the website um, link in the description of the video because um, it's obviously not localhost. Uh, just sign in and then allow. Um, allow access and then you'll be listed with you, all your keys that you have so this is your API key and then all of your link keys that you have access to are here and you can change the name of them to suit I would um, I would suggest doing that just so you remember what each key is for because you can't uh, you can't mix players and packs into the one key they need to be separate um, and you can have any number of servers attached to one link key. You don't need one link key for each server. Um, a lot of people are getting confused with that. The link key is a, a key that you put on all the servers that you want to use the same data. Um, so all we're going to do here is just copy over here, paste that in. All right, so once that's done, you obviously save the file, reboot your server. The first time the API runs, well, actually, the, the first time that the server runs while the API is active, it will be in manual only mode. So it won't try to sync any data until you manually upload or download data. So that gives you time to manipulate your um, files and, and stuff like that to uh, make sure you consolidate all your points and everything. If you have a cluster, of servers and um, you have a, a bunch of players that you want to consolidate all of those into one. There is a very cool uh, tool made by BlindFox2015 
which will take multiple um, player data dot save files and it'll merge them together into one and then that way you can upload that onto your server and then upload that up to the API. So let's get this started here. Okay, so when we first um, log in or any any admin will see this message saying that this is the first time the API, a API has run on this server. So what it's asking you to do is um, upload your data to the API so it can get spread out to the other servers basically. All right, so if you used um, Blind Fox's merge tool to merge everything and uh, and put the file onto this server, the first thing you would want to do is uh, is load from that file. So we go down to data, players, load from file, which will load everything into the um, into the um, into the map basically. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go up to the API and you'll see that we're in manual operation mode only. So from here, we can upload our players and it'll have a little dialog box there showing you um, how many players, it depends on how many players you have. It, uh, it uploads in chunks of 50. So um, depending on how many you have, it, it can take maybe a minute to, to get through. The next is uh, we want to go to API manual upload. Obviously, you only need to do that if you're syncing both types. Um, and then at the end, it'll give you this uh, message here saying when you're ready, toggle the API to auto sync. So we can go back into here and then that's just this button right here. We go to auto sync. These get uh, locked off because you can't do manual uploads and downloads while it's in auto sync. Um, but if you do need to do that at some point, you can always switch it back to manual mode and that'll stop it from auto syncing and allow you to uh, sort out the data. And then uh, from that point on, uh, the this server here um, is connected to the API and the API has all of the, uh, the data. So we can... Um, we can see up here we're connected, we can see what we're syncing, so because I'm linking both of my players and the packs to the API, we get that. And then this is just the last message that the API sent. So um, it's saying that uh, the survivor was found and that was uh, that was my character getting its bonus. But we can, uh, we can test that by selecting a player, you can see. It uh, requests the, the data from the API first, uh, and then we can change it um, and then update it, and it'll get sent to the API. And uh, same with packs. All right, so the next thing we want to do is, um, obviously we want to set up the rest of our servers. So we would go through the same process, uh, but this time, rather than uploading our data, we want to download it from the API. So we'd come into here and then download from the API, which will start the download process. You'll obviously have um, messages telling you to, you know, to do the packs next and stuff like that, but this is the same server, so it's not really going to do that for us. But we uh, start downloading all the packs and then we are done, we can switch over to um, auto sync and then that's it. From, from this point on, both of those servers would be uh, using the same data. So it doesn't matter which server changes the data, it all gets uh, sent to the other server basically. So they all stay in sync. And uh, it, this, uh, this holds true for uh, restarts and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't auto sync whenever a server starts up just to make sure it has all the latest data and uh, yeah you don't need to worry about it after that point there and then um, that's that's it now if you have any questions feel free to contact me on discord um, try not to post on the mod page because I I rarely uh, look at the notifications on there I try my hardest to stay up to date with that but discord's the best way to 
get a hold of me. All right, that is going to do it for the video. Um, I hope it helped you out. Thank you very much. 